Good morning everyone. I am Dr. Rajiv Reddy. I am a consultant orthopedic oncosurgeon at uh, Uday Omni Hospital at uh, Nampalli. Any cancer generally begins with very vague symptoms and uh, bone cancer is no different. Bone cancer usually begins with bone pain which is very mild in the beginning. Then it becomes persistent and it does not disappear with the routine painkillers that are prescribed. It becomes a nagging sort of pain which keeps on increasing over a period of time. In a few patients, bone cancer also begins with bone swellings or swellings in the arms or in the legs or in the back which increases over a period of time and the swelling later becomes prominent. This is when usually the patient presents to the doctor. In a few cases, the bone cancer which begins inside the bone later destroys the bone and it causes a fracture of the bone and the patient presents to us with a fracture. So, a fracture which occurs without any major injury or without any high velocity trauma that is a person might just uh, you know skip and fall down from the steps or he might trip or he might twist his ankle and then he has a fracture or they might just twist their arm and fracture the bone. These are the sort of fractures that will give us an indication as to whether something abnormal is happening inside the bone and that is the reason why they have fractured after such a small or trivial injury. So pain, swelling and fracture after a very small or very trivial injury should give us an idea that something else, something aggressive is happening inside the bone. There are various types of bone tumors. They can be broadly categorized into three types. They can be called as benign. The second type can be called as malignant which are called cancers or sarcomas. And the third are cancers to the bone which spread from other organs. The first one that is the benign tumors are the tumors which are the easiest uh, in terms of complete cure and treatment. These tumors begin inside the bone. They stay inside the bone and they grow but they generally do not spread into the blood and do not go into the other organs. Hence treatment of that bone which is affected by this tumor is sufficient to cure the patient fully. The chances of recurrence after a good cure by a proper orthopedic surgeon or an orthopedic oncologist is very good and the chances of recurrence are low, especially when it is done in the right way. The second type of bone tumors, that is a malignant bone tumors, which are also called as bone cancers or bone sarcomas, are the ones that are a little more aggressive and they may begin in the bone but eventually they spread through the blood into organs like the lungs or other bones or other important organs like the kidney or the liver or other organs. These are the cancers that need to be identified quickly and they need to be dealt in a multidisciplinary way with involvement of other doctors like the surgical oncologist or if chemotherapy is required the medical oncologist or if radiation is required then the radiation oncologist. These cancers are the ones that have to be identified early, they have to be dealt with by a specialist like an orthopedic oncologist and the patient has to remember that he has to follow up for about 3 to 5 years so that they do not appear again. What we should remember is that these sarcomas are curable provided they are identified early and provided that the correct treatment is taken. The third type of bone tumors are the ones which spread from other organs like the thyroid or the lung or the kidney or the breast or the prostate and they reach any of the 206 bones in the body. Generally these cancers reach spread to the bones from the other organs through the blood and they weaken the bone and they cause fractures of the bone and the patient presents to us with a fracture of the bone. These cancers need to be dealt with individually depending on where they have come from and there are many modes of treatments like medical treatment and surgical treatment which are categorized individually as per the patient and the primary cancer that is the cancer from where the tumor has initially come to the bones from. So these are broadly the three types of uh, bone cancers that we see. Benign tumors are fully curable depending on how they are treated when they are presented the first time. That is a trained orthopedic oncologist with the right techniques and uh, the right uh, uh, way of doing the surgery can fully cure the benign tumors or at least get down the recurrence rate to a very very minimal uh, extent. Malignant tumors or bone cancers or bone, can or bone sarcomas are also fully curable but they are dependent on various other criteria like for example if they are caught early 
and the cancer is only restricted to the bones and not present in any other part of the body then the chances of cure are more the other factor is if chemotherapy is required for that particular bone cancer then what is the response to chemotherapy if the patient has a very good response to chemotherapy then we know that their chances of getting cured fully are very very high so these two factors play a key role in for in deciding whether the patient can be fully cured or not but with recent advances in this century in chemotherapy and the surgical techniques the chances of cure for even these cancers or sarcomas is very very high provided they are caught early and the patient presents early to the orthopedic oncologist the third type that is the cancers which come from other organs are also fully curable provided the organ from which they have come like the thyroid or breast or prostate is treated fully and properly benign bone tumors which do not spread elsewhere generally surgery is the primary modality of treatment but sometimes if the tumor is very small and in certain tumors we use uh, other modalities like radio frequency ablation which is a form of uh, treatment which does not require surgery wherein other techniques like radio frequency are used to kill the tumor but in general in benign tumors the main modality of treatment is surgery wherein the entire tumor is removed and it is then filled with bone or from other areas or bone cement and the patient gets back to leading a normal life in malignant tumors like bone cancers or sarcomas what is required is a multidisciplinary approach generally uh, the first thing that a surgeon or an orthopedic oncologist does when he sees someone with a suspected bone tumor is to get an x-ray done and on an x-ray if there is something suspicious and we we find that the x-ray is not looking normal then to get a better understanding of what is happening and to look at more in depth view of the bone the muscle the nerves and uh, the other blood vessels to look at these important structures an mri scan is done and mri scan gives us a clear idea of as to what is happening and where the tumor is if there is a tumor and how big it is and how do we approach this particular tumor but the most important test in any cancer and especially bone cancer is to do a biopsy a biopsy is a small procedure which is planned meticulously by the orthopedic oncologist and it involves taking a small sample from the tumor area uh, using ultrasound or x-ray and this small sample is sent to the pathologist for the pathologist then looks under the microscope and tells us what kind of tumor it is whether it is a benign tumor or a cancerous tumor and if it is cancerous then what kind of cancerous tumor it is and whether it is a low grade tumor or a high grade tumor a low grade tumor means that this tumor is less aggressive and it is more chances of fully curing the tumor a high grade tumor means a highly aggressive tumor which requires more in depth treatment from a wide variety of modalities so after the biopsy is done a biopsy is not a very major procedure it has to be done the right way after planning it the correct way and it is a day care procedure where it is the, the procedure itself takes only 15 minutes because there is no cut there is no opening the skin or the muscles it just involves putting a needle into the tumor and at the most a single stitch so the patient gets admitted in the morning and the procedure is done under anesthesia and in about an hour and then the patient gets discharged in the afternoon or evening depending on their comfort once the biopsy report is ready within a week then we plan the next man- management plan which generally involves giving chemotherapy first chemotherapy is given by a medical oncologist and uh, this involves giving very powerful drugs which go into the body and kill the tumor cells unfortunately these chemotherapy drugs do, cannot differentiate cannot make out the difference between normal cells as well as tumor cells so they end up killing the normal cells also sometimes so the patient has side effects like hair fall or bleeding and they become very vulnerable to infections hence it should be done under proper care of a medical oncologist in a good hospital following the chemotherapy we then decide whether to do surgery or give radiation and majority of the times we do surgery and depending on where the tumor is and how the tumor is we plan the surgery and then give the remaining part of chemotherapy so that the treatment is then completed in a few cases we do use radiation which is given by a radiation oncologist 
where a dose of radiation is given to the tumor area so that the tumor decreases its size and that becomes the modality of uh, treatment for a few selected patients in a few tumors. An orthopedic oncosurgeon is a trained orthopedic surgeon who then goes on to specialize in oncology. That is, he goes on to specialize and receive a fellowship accredited training, which is generally over a period of two years at least, in bone tumors, bone cancers, and cancers of other organs which have spread to the bones. Because we know now in the 21st century that cancers have become very common and we have specialists now for all diseases, all organs and bone cancers are now recognized as a difficult entity to treat and we realize that we need specialists in treating these sarcomas and cancers which require a very different kind of approach. They require a, an attitude which involves knowing stuff not only about orthopedics but also about oncology which involves chemotherapy radiation and pathology so that an overall holistic approach is taken in the treatment of uh, these difficult patients and different difficult cancers since the introduction of orthopedic oncologists in our country we have seen a significant rise in the cure of these patients in the cure of these diseases and many patients are, have gone on to do very well and they are uh, in good professions and they are leading very useful and productive lives. The difference between having an orthopedic oncologist for your treatment is sim simply the fact that an orthopedic oncologist deals with bone tumors day in and day out. So this person who has been trained in orthopedic oncology knows more about the tumors and he since he is doing it day in and day out he becomes better at it and he can give a holistic uh, treatment to bone cancer and benign bone tumor patients so that they can be cured fully.